So I went to Jeff Bezos online store and I purchased uh, five of these TDA uh, 2030A circuits, um, these amplifiers. I got them from him. Uh, you get a lot of five for, I think, $8 or something like that. They were roughly a, a buck fifty a piece or somewhere in that neighborhood. And I figured, let's check them out. So let's see what we got here. Well, it is rather small. And I can go ahead and tell you, um, they had listed on there that uh, these things would put out 18 watts at 12 volts. This heat sink right here is not going to dissipate 18 watts. Uh, let me get the eye loop out and get a closer look at this guy and see what we have. Okay, after I looked over this guy, I am pretty sure this is a, a cheap Chinese knockoff, which was expected. But um, the seller um, put out uh, schematics for it and everything, and... Um, this doesn't even match what it put out um, right here. You can see, I don't know if you can make that out. So 4.7 microfarad at um, 50 volts for a smoothing capacitor. And on the schematics, it was uh, 100 microfarads. And then right here on the output side, they got a 470. And then on schematics, I think it was a, um, a 2200 microfarad. So yeah, this is way different than what they were showing on the schematics um yeah i'm not real sure hopefully it will have the same results <laughs> they they have on there like i said I th it was 18 watts output i'm pretty sure that's on a, a four ohm load i'm going to uh use it on some uh six ohm load speakers and uh we're going to test it out and see what it sounds like Okay, I got this hooked up to a, a single Sony SSG uh, 2000 speaker. It's a, a 6 ohm speaker. I think it can handle up to 100 watts. So let's give it some juice. Well, I'm hearing no hum, so that's a good sign. All right, uh, let's play some music on it. I know this this is a uh, mono a single channel so it's not in stereo the the sound of it is kind of washed out that's because of the capacitor here probably needs to be larger um, I can tell you right now you yeah, as you can see on the meter we're putting in 12 volts we never even reached an amp 
So that's uh, 12 watts, isn't it? Yeah, I, not even close. I think I saw on there uh, 100 milliamps. To, uh, what, what, I mean, look what we're at now just at sitting here. Um, let me press play on here. Yeah, we're lucky if we're putting out a couple of watts. Um, yeah, let me run some tests on this guy. Uh, yeah, 18 watts my butt. But that, yeah, that's that's not good. Um, and it's not very loud either. So let me, let me play it and see what kind of heat I'm getting on it. got a little warm here I tell you what um, I think that was a <laughs> I'm gonna go on the edge here I think that was a 16 volt capacitor uh, let's try it at Let's try it. If it blows up, I got four more. All right, let's test it out. Things clipping bad, and it's not really even generating a lot of heat. Whoops. All right, let's just kill the power. All right, I got a thousand hertz wave on it, and we'll bring it up till we're clipping. Got something weird going on at the top of that too. So, ten volts peak. The peak, uh, I'm going to measure it with the multimeter. All right. And uh, now I'm going to test it. I'm going to bring it up to um, 15 volts. All right. Now we're at uh, 15 volts. And let's increase the amplitude. And yeah, there's something weird going on at the top of that wave there. I'm going to check it there. All right, and I'll get back with you on my results. Okay, these are our results. At uh, We had 12 volts. I figured it being 9.2 peak to peak, which divided by 283, we're getting three and a quarter volts RMS. And then um, square that up, get 10.8 divided by 8 ohms gives us a whopping 1.3 watts and then when I cranked it up to 15 volts we were looking at 12 volts peak to peak divided it by 2.83 and that was giving us uh, 4.24 RMS volts and then squared that up gave us 17.98 and divided it by the 8 ohms gave us a whopping grand total of two and a quarter volts. So this is what I have to say about that. Not only is it horrible, it's, it's disappointing. Um, yeah, this is, this is just terrible. I would not advise anybody getting this amplifier. I may try to piddle around with it, uh, change the caps out. It seems to perform better at higher 
voltage, and I know that uh, chip is rated at, I think, at 36 volts on a single supply. So, um, yeah, I think it would change the caps out. Maybe I can put more voltage in, and it'll perform better. But, yeah, the way it's set up now, it is horrible. The, it's not even getting close to the voltage they're promising on it. Uh, what do you think about it, Lieutenant Commander Data? <laughs> Yeah, he thinks it's horrible, too. I mean, look at the expression on his face. Yeah, he's very disappointed. All right. Yeah, don't buy these guys from Amazon. You're going to be disappointed. They're just taking your money. Um, and LM386 will put out about almost that much. Um, all right. So there it is. Um, if you guys like this video, give me the thumbs up. And uh, remember to subscribe for more content. Y'all have a good day.